print some kosher gospel music. Mahalia Jackson was the queen of gospel music, and uh, they see me as the, I guess, the um, taking on, carrying on her mantle. Because I'm Jewish, the music is fit for a Jewish audience. Come together for an event of celebration as, a, as opposed to hating each other and ha coming to disagreements. Musically, celebrating life and drawing on the similarities as opposed to the dissonance. With some people, it's a novelty. With us, it's the way, you know, my music represents life, our art represents life, or life represents art. And this is our art from our soul to really bring people together. element in soul people don't realize is that it's the element that um, it's a musical expression of one's horrible condition. Uh, for instance, uh, when slavery was here, that period, uh, soul was created then. So you sort of channel all of your energies into a note, into a musical style, into a groan, into a hand clap, into a foot stomp. Music touches a note, and if you if you if you're not if you don't feel music, then you might want to pinch yourself and see if you're alive. <laughs> In Judaism, we plant a tree, but we don't plant the tree for ourselves because you know it takes 30, 40 years for a tree to, to actually grow. And, and now I see about planting a tree for the future, future generations, for the generations to come. So then that's what it really means to love thy neighbor as thyself or to love thy brother as thyself. You're doing something for someone else that'll benefit them. There are forces that pull us apart and there are forces that pull us together. And I might be doing it through music, some other person may be doing it by teaching philosophy, another person may do it by helping the homeless and, uh, and you know, whatever our part is, every person has a will or a desire or everyone I think has a, a destiny. <laughs> This is, uh, you know, my mark on uh, society, giving music that's meant to bring people together as opposed to bringing them apart. Yeah. Yeah.